for uh, Rosanna Moraru from Bucharest to have her clinical experience with Argos presentation. Please. Thank you. Good evening, dear colleagues. It's a pleasure for me to be here to share with you some of our experience with Argos machine. And uh, I thank organizers for having invited me here. Um, so uh, let's go directly. Uh, first of all, uh, I need to tell you that um, my presentation is based on clinical practice only. And um, you will see that um, uh, the pictures are done directly from the patient's file with the original writing and everything. Um, when colleagues from Alcon, Romania, came to us uh, to present Argos with, um, and trying to convince us to buy one, uh, we said, okay, we have uh, four good machines for biometry and we also had Varion, so five machines. This one would be the sixth one, why should we buy it? Uh, but they presented us some um, advantages and we said, okay, let's give it a try and we will see. And quite soon uh, we decided that it is worth uh, every penny that we spend on it. Uh, our first impressions are that it is very easy to handle, easy to capture the correct image. It makes everything, including the anterior posterior axis, which uh, Varian, for example, didn't do. It was efficient in special cases and uh, where other machines didn't capture and measure. Uh, the following uh, impressions in the following months showed us a high accuracy, both on spherical and toric value, high accuracy in extreme uh, axe, uh, longer or shorter uh, eyes, and it measures also irregular and difficult corneas, let's say, and it can measure also difficult anterior posterior axis, like in macula of retinal detachment. So what do I mean by special cases? All these cases presented here, uh, for example, high myopia, high hyperopia, high astigmatism. We had plenty of cases um, like this. But I choose only some for examples, uh, but uh, uh, keep in mind that uh, these were active patients with significant ametropias and refractive lens exchange, so with clear lens, and they were very demanding, so you need to be very precise uh, when you operate these eyes. Um, in the same uh, category of special cases, I also introduced um, associated corneal pathology, uh, mature and very mature cataracts, and associated uh, retinal pathology, as you will see. So let's start with the cataract associated with high myopia, in which we implanted IOL uh, monofocal or um, trifocal, panoptics IOL. Uh, there were 35 patients in this group, but there's not time, it was not time to make um, several cases, to present several cases, so I just took uh, two or three cases. Uh, these are eyes with longer axes, uh, with uh, um, deformed uh, retina, as you see, deformed posterior pole, so there are some challenges, difficulties in measuring the long axis due to the irregularities of the posterior pole. So let's see one of uh, them, 44 years old female, uh, contact lens wearer, came for refractive surgery, uh, axial length both than uh, 33 millimeters, you see how her retina looked on the OCT, visual acuity 0.5, 0.4 with minus 24 and some cylinder, and the proposed surgery was refractive lens exchange with monofocal PCIOL targeting uh, minus 2.5 diopters. Um, like in any new machine, uh, when we decide to purchase one of them, we always compare with um, similar machines that we have in our clinic. And this is what we did uh, before we decided to, to uh, buy uh, Argos. Uh, we first um, uh, we did, in all cases, comparison with other machines. So you will see here, uh, for example, in this case, we have an Aladdin um, uh, top cone which didn't measure at all the right eye. Instead, the, um, uh, the Argos did measure, and uh, as you see here, we have some uh, uh, written up there in the uh, red circle that IL, Ma IL Master didn't measure at all. But with Argos, we did a correct measurement, and uh, uh, because we wanted to be sure, we also used uh, ultrasound biometry, the old-fashioned Oculus scan, which is very reliable uh, nowadays as well. And we decided to implant uh, minus four in the right eye and minus three diopter in the uh, right eye, in the left eye, and look how beautiful, according to the Argus measurements. Uh, although the, all the other machines showed us something like minus six, six or some other diopters, but we chose the result offered by the Argus machine, and we were right. Look how beautiful uh, the post-op refraction uh, was obtained. Another case, um, uh, this is extreme myopia with the history of radial keratotomies. The lady had uh, minus 23 diopter in both eyes. 
she wanted to be plano post op uh, we managed to convince her to to uh, have a little bit of myopia post operatively and um, these are the measurements no measure possible in the right eye on the IL master 700 neither the um, the axis nor the k readings in the right eye and the left eye in the um, top con machine we can we could measure on the right eye and uh, the um, Argus showed us the results um, in both eyes. We had measurements. We did surgery for this lady, and we obtained quite a good um, post-op refraction in accordance with what we targeted. Um, this is an extreme myopia associated with uh, anterior chamber refractive fakie lenses. We had 15 cases, but uh, okay, I chose only one or two for this presentation. High myopia operated by artisan refractive lens in 2004. Presented with cataract, we needed to remove the artisan and to perform the surgery. And uh, we used, uh, as in all, all the other cases, both machines, at least two machines for biometry. And finally, we decided for the diopter offered by the Argos machine, 11.5 uh, and minus and plus 6 in the other eye. And how beautiful post op refraction we had, very much according with the um, uh, pre, pre op targeted uh, refraction. Uh, another case with um, artisan refractive lens, uh, again we took into consideration, but this uh, lady really wanted to have a Plano post-op uh, and we targeted Plano and indeed we, uh, we took into consideration again the Argus results and uh, we obtained a nice uh, Plano post-op refraction. Uh, this is a um, uh, high hyperopia uh, uh, male patient in which we implanted uh, Panoptis IOL for uh, refractive uh, purpose. Uh, as you see here in the original file, uh, and the surgery proposed was femtolaser assisted the refractive lens exchange with panoptics IOL. In this case, the results were similar in the both um, uh, biometry machines uh, 29 in the right eye and 32 panops in the left eye, and the uh, post op refraction was very good. Uh, visual acuity was uh, um, 2020, no diopter at all, both in distance, intermediate, and near. This is a case with um, an advanced cataract associated with keratoconus. Um, I have encircled here in red um, the, the low visual acuity, 0.05, and this was because of the advanced cataract. Anyway, the proposed surgery was phacomulsification in the right eye with the PCIOL monofocal implanted, and the target was around plano or a little bit of minus 0.75 in accordance with the patient's uh, willing. And uh, again, the Aladdin didn't measure at all in the right eye, but um, uh, Argos did measure, and the post op refraction, as you see here, is um, a visual acuity 2020 with an, a spherical equivalent of almost plano. So Argos proved to have high sensitivity and excellent accuracy, even in these uh, deformed corneas. Another case advanced cataract associated with corneal transplant. 38-year-old um, male patient with history of keratoconus and cross-linking in uh, both eyes and the PK done in 2016 came for decreased visual acuity and he, he proved to have um, quite an advanced cataract. Uh, we, the surgery proposed was uh, uh, FACO in the right eye with the PCIOL. It is not done yet, it is scheduled for surgery very soon, but what I wanted to highlight is the cornea, how it looks in the left eye and in the right eye. The right eye is proposed for surgery. Aladdin Topcon didn't measure at all, but Argus did measure. So uh, uh, we highlight once again the high sensitivity. And um, uh, another case, uh, a mature, really white cataract associated with keratoconus and corneal edema. This is an interesting patient who had in the right eye keratoconus uh, grade 4, in the left eye history of heat drops on keratoconus. We operated him in uh, 2018 with penetrating keratoplasty, but now he came for decreased visual acuity in the uh, right eye, and um, we examined him in April um, this year with totally white cataract, irregular cornea surface with leucoma, corneal leucoma, and visual acuity was hand movement. We decided for phacomulsification plus minus PCIOL. Finally, we decided to do only the, um, the cataract surgery and to leave the patient affected because uh, he is scheduled in October or November for um, penetrating keratoplasty and afterwards we will implant the IOL. So we, uh, we had in this case uh, several challenges uh, regarding the biometry. 
not only that we have irregular corneas, but we have also corneal opacities, we have a very mature cataract, so we have difficulties in both measuring the cornea, the K readings, and the anterior posterior um, axis. You see here the pictures of the topography, the picture of the anterior segment, how it looked, and the uh, Argus uh, measurement. Um, the, the Argus measured in both eyes, uh, which was not possible, of course, in the Aladdin Topco, neither the anterior uh, axial length nor the K readings. And we took into consideration the, the, the value offered by the Argus, which was uh, for zero, because we decided to leave him a fecic, he was supposed to remain with minus 10, more or less, minus 10 diopter, which is exactly what you see in the um, picture down left. Uh, uh, the visual acuity post-op is 0.2 with minus 10. So the Argus proved not only a high sensitivity, an extremely high sensitivity, but also good um, predictability in these complex cases. Another case with mature cataract associated this time with corneal transplant. Um, the lady had the both eyes. We did operation only in the right eye with a less advanced cataract. But what I want to highlight is the fact that in the left eye with very mature cataract, um, uh, Aladdin didn't measure. On the contrary, uh, the Argus machine measured in both eyes. And we had uh, to implant 24 diopters in the right eye and 28 in the left eye. Just to be sure, we also performed the old-fashioned OcoScan um, uh, biometry and the values proposed by um, OcoScan were very similar with those proposed by um, Argos, so we, we were very trustful in implanting 24 diopter in the right eye. Uh, it is a recent surgery, so we don't have post-op um, um, refraction, but um, I just want to highlight high sensitivity. And in comparison with the OcuScan result, I could also say that it is not only high sensitivity, but also very good predictability and um, accuracy. Uh, again, a hypermature cataract, when the nucleus is extremely dense, we use dense cataract mode. It has been shown here, enhanced retina visualization. Of course, we don't have any measurement on this white cataract with um, uh, Aladdin, for example, but we did obtain a measurement with Argus. Uh, not in the regular, in the standard mode, as you see in the upper image. But um, in the lower image, you can see that we used um, dense cataract mode and we have a very thin, it's not very visible, but it is there, the, the echo of the, um, of the retina. And uh, that's why we could have obtain an axial length of 23.08. It showed, again, a very high sensitivity. Uh, let's go now to the cataract associated with the retinal pathology. And we had two cases, we had several cases, but I chose only two cases of retinal detachment, macula off retinal detachment. This is a 54-year-old uh, male patient with high myopia, minus 14 in both eyes. He was contact lens wearer, but he came for decreased visual acuity in uh, right eye with um, uh, 0.05 and with very important history of equal refraction in both eyes. The clinical exam, uh, we saw some mild nuclear lens opacities, retina detached in the posterior pole, posterior staphyloma, as you see in the picture. The B scan and macular OCT confirmed the retinal detachment and um, macula of uh, retinal detachment. The surgical plan was, was to perform combined procedure, phaco calcification with PCI oil with a target of minus one, minus two, because the patient didn't want to. We would like to offer him a minus 2.5, let's say, but we agreed to have minus 1, 1.2. A pastoral vitrectomy and silicon oil tamponade. The break was uh, very close to the optic uh, nerve, so silicon oil tamponade was uh, mandatory. And, uh, uh, of course, Aladdin didn't measure the axis, but um, Argos did measure. And um, what is important to see is that the right eye, Argos offered equal uh, values for both eyes. And you see here how it measured. You can see the echo of the retina uh, and the echo, echo of the retina detached in front of the echo of the posterior pole, uh, the posterior wall of the eye, let's say. And um, the post op refraction uh, with silicon oil inside it's almost uh, plus two, which is in accordance with our targeted minus 1.5 because uh, we know silicon oil. Uh, 
uh, gives um, a refraction of uh, plus 3, plus 4 diopter while it is in the eye. So we assume after the silicone oil removal, we will have our uh, intended minus 1.5 uh, diopters. And the last case, um, uh, again, cataract associated to macular of retinal detachment. Uh, again, we have a history of equal refraction. It is, it is very important because you cannot be always sure about the measurement when you have retinal detachment, but if you compare with the other eye and if the machine gives you similar results, it means that you are on a good uh, uh, target. This is how the retina looked. And um, uh, look on here, on the Aladdin, we have um, uh, recommended for the right eye eight diopters, for the left eye 17.5 diopters for our target of minus two, which was not real because uh, we have a history of equal refraction in both eyes, more or less equal, let's say. And indeed, uh, the Argus offered us uh, uh, the, the equal refraction in both eyes and uh, suggested for uh, an implantation of plus 10 uh, diopters. This is what we did. Uh, so again, we, it is confirmed again that this uh, machine really has a, a, an excellent sensitivity and accuracy, even if we had an ugly detached retina. Uh, in conclusion, Argus presented high accuracy and impressive sensitivity in all cases, being able to correctly measure the axial length in most of the cases, including extreme lens and mature cataracts, and also the K readings, uh, uh, even in cases with uh, deformed corneas. Thank you.